Hey, you guys. Hey, air signs. So we are about to get into this spring equinox reading. I know it has been a large space of time between me doing the fire and earth readings to these now. So um, thank you for your patience, air signs. Thank you so much. Um, I just had to, I had some changes happen and I had to get adjusted with that before I can get back to recording the um the spring equinox videos but I did not want to leave y'all hanging like I didn't want to just record those and not do these you know so we are going to go ahead and get into it the lighting is shifting off and on I have this window open but you know all right that's a little bit better. Okay. So, <laughs> um, air signs for you guys. What I was getting when I sat with your energy was that you're not really focused on doing more than you need to. All right. Just very on, on that just enough kind of energy. That's what I was getting. Just kind of um, flowing through the breeze like you all like to um, being the wind element that you guys are and kind of going with the flow being focused on presence as as much as possible all right because there are some times where we're not able to be in that present energy um which is normal for all of us um and just being focused on right here right now in a sense and um so that you can really stay in that flow so that you can really show up in what it is that you are desiring to show up or needing more so than anything needing to show up in at this time throughout this season as um we begin to move through the changes i mean it is already about to be may <laughs> granted it's still april when i'm recording this it is um what is today? It's April 23rd. So yes, we are just about to end this month and really usher in this uh, second half of spring. But the first half of spring, we are still in with this tour season. And halfway through tours, we will be in the second half. So the first half of spring, we have this nourish here. So that is all about really taking time to take care of ourselves, nourishing us on all levels, mental, spiritually, emotionally, and um, and even nourishing our relationships as well, our relationship with ourselves, our, our romantic relationships, our love relationships, our acquaintances and platonic relationships on by all means, you know, and really getting more connected with the earth. Yesterday was Earth Day as I'm recording this. So definitely a, a moment in time to really connect with that which gives us nourishment, that which gives us um, stability, uh, foundation without even asking for it, you know? So the second half we have here is grow. So the second half of spring will be uh, focused on the growth that comes about from all the nourishment, all the nurturing it is that we have been putting into everything, into ourselves, into our lives, into our relationships, in all aspects, you know, and really witnessing that. So the fact that we are already out of majority of the first half of spring um, I'm going to pull the cards a little bit differently than I did for fire and earth if you have even watched those so I am um, still going to be pulling for the first half in the second half but I'm not going to focus on the months I'm just going to focus on uh, each quarter um, or each half what am I talking about each half in a whole, right? Instead of um, focusing on anything other than that, anything more than that, I should say. So let's see, get this space it's clear and open for spirit to come in 
and support this reading a call in spirit at this time so that the air signs can receive the best readings it is that they are in need of for themselves. We are going to start off with Gemini. So spirit, please offer your guidance, your insight, your, your counsel to the Gemini energies that are partaking and watching in this at this time. I ask that you be clear with your messages, Gemini. It's time for you to fly, okay? Um, without hesitation. So, yes, and that you just bring in and bring forth everything it is that will be supportive of Gemini at this time. Spirit, we are first going to take a look at the first half of spring. What messages do you have for Gemini at the first half of spring, Spirit? First half of spring. What messages do you have for Gemini? The first half of spring. Okay. So the first card that is coming out for you, Gemini, is the Six of Wands. So you are really finding success in what it is that you are doing, finding a sense of accomplishment. Perhaps you are receiving, you have been receiving accolades for the work it is that you do, for the spirit journey it is that you have been on up until this point. It's providing you a lot of new opportunities especially in regards to finances, but also in gaining um, a greater sense of wisdom than what it is that you already have. We have here the Six of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, all right? So really just um, things of beginning to build uh, a solid foundation for you, as well as in, in finding um, what it is that you need in that you know, what it is that you need from that and really aligning to those aspects, really being able to tap into that, really feeling like you're able to expand. Um, I do want to say if at this time that you're watching this, if you have been kind of in your ego, right, because six of wands can also be like this ego game. It can be like this very, um, I done this by myself <laughs> kind of energy. Um, and not allowing that to deter you from witnessing the opportunities that are continuously being presented to you, but to also um, recognize how standing steadfast and what it is that you have been um, activating in your life, um, connecting with spirit in building in your life, that it is really bringing you to a new sense of stability, a new sense of growth. Um, the nourishment it is that you have been providing for yourself has been very fruitful, very beneficent, you know, and really offering you that um, kind of like that new step, that new beginning in which it is that you've been wanting, uh, you know, you are cat uh, catapulting upon your legacy, whatever that means for you. It doesn't have to mean whatever society presents legacy to me, you know, it's all very personal. So, um, yes, let's see what second half of spring has for you, Gemini. Okay, so second half of spring, you we have the two of swords here. So making a lot of decisions, getting out of that space of two minds. So the first card that came out for your second half of spring is the two of wands. So really being in this space of two minds um, and having to make any type of decision it is that is going to continue to serve you in your growth moving forward, but also um, finding a sense of harmony and balance. Perhaps you need to come to some truth with someone within your life. Um, kind of take all, taking off that blindfold and seeing the, the full spectrum of what it is that's being presented to you, right? So that you can make the right decisions for yourself and really be able to um, get grounded in the choices it is that you have to make. You know, Gemini, you're all about, Tori, all about the choices. Um, you understand duality very well. 
um, but also polarity as well. So this is speaking a lot about getting and finding, coming to that mental stability it is that is needed in order to kind of function within your relationships in, in a way that's going to promote growth. Okay. Because you have the five of cups energy here. So there is a growth, right? Emotional growth is, there's a choice that needs to be made that is going to support emotional growth in a way that is going to um, allow things to become peaceful, allow things to be, to usher in the harmony it is that is needed in order to really live enjoyably and really um, embrace all of your relationships, uh, however that may look. You know, it, I'm definitely getting with this Five of Cups coming up out of this Two of Swords. It is a need to come to an impasse, right? Um, kind of like that energy of agree to disagree, you know, letting letting the cards be what they may and align in whatever way it is that is necessary in order for things to move forward smoothly. Spirit, what else is here for Gemini? Okay, so a lot of choices, a lot of decisions. We have the Seven of Cups here. So all of this energy all together is um, presenting a lot of options. You have options, you have choices. Um, it, and it's important that you recognize what the best one is for you um, to not be deceived through the means of love, right? So this is not allowing um, idealism to uh, take over what is real, what is factual, you know, and really uh, taking the time to um, make the right decisions, right? Because the Seven of Cups is looking up at this Two of Swords and this Five of Cups, right? So there's something that needs to be surrendered here, something that has to be sacrificed in order for you to be able to come to that place that is going to allow you to feel that peace, feel that joy, feel that fulfillment, that happiness, that, that sense of stability, a, a big need to get grounded within your emotions and what it is that you really want. It, it's almost, this is an invitation for you to go deeper and see what is occurring. What does that really mean for you, right? Instead of, because when Seven of Cups comes out, it's a lot of people involved, right? It's many people involved. And um, so it's really important to be making the decisions that bring harmony and peace and balance to all parties, not just you. It's kind of taking yourself out of this very selfish space and um, doing what is needed and necessary in order for you to really uh just have the grounding that is necessary within your life and kind of come out of any type of conflict that is being experienced here at this moment in this time wow okay yeah so like i was talking about this is the hangman and it's about surrendering something has to be sacrificed here something things haven't been being seen clearly up until this point um or perhaps you are of realizing that things have not been seen been seen clearly and needing a um needing some time to kind of let the fog clear and being able to recognize if something is will really what's the word if you're really willing to sacrifice whatever it is that needs to be sacrificed surrender to whatever it is that needs to be surrendered to in order for peace to be had, right? So when the hangman comes out, this is like you are at this place of putting in the efforts that need to go forward with you in order to come to that world energy, that completion, that uh, culmination of success, right? Because right now it's a lot of frustration. 
right? Because right now it seems to be a lot of frustration, uh, some conflict coming up here. Um, and it seems maybe a lot of people just talking over one another, right? So really taking the time to do what needs to be done in order to create um, a realm of unconditional love. Okay, and that that unconditionality is extended to all parties involved um, and however it is that that is coming up, you know, what else is here, spirit? Yeah, so we got the Knight of Cups energy here. So this can have to do with some uh, romantic involvement, romantic situation. This can be with someone that you are um, involved with. This could be... Um, you just needing to tap more into your intuition to see things a little bit more clearly, right? And and um, because the hanged one is Pisces energy and this king knight of cups is water energy, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, right? So this is a lot about your depth and what it is that these experiences outside of you what is that reflecting from within you? You know, kind of take a look in that reflection in that water, right? To see what's really there, what's really going on, what's happening here, you know, and, and why? Why is it happening? You know, how do you go about um, accessing these aspects of yourself? It's no wrong way to do that you know just whatever works best for you is really necessary in this and really taking the time to want to be understanding of all parties involved you know be understanding in in your own self as well this is a lot about your own sense of recognizing your self-worth, your self-value, because opposite of Pisces is Virgo, right? And Virgo is, although it's not Taurus, it is an earth sign. So it's all about manifestation and it's about um, values as well. It's about what is what is right for you. It's about build foundation building and stability, right? So what does that look like for you? And is this situation that you're experiencing, is that providing that for you, especially on an emotional basis? And is there some kind of way that you need to show up in regard to another person and their emotions and how it is that that's looking for them, showing up for them, right? And I spoke about Virgo and here we have the Eight of Pentacles that is Virgo energy. So this is a lot about self-mastery. It's a lot about um, doing that root work, right? Whether that is on a basis of magic or little internal root work, right? To recognize what can be done to help manifest something greater than you, something bigger than you from within. <clears throat> what else is here, Spirit? For Gemini. What else do you have for Gemini here? Let's cards first. Coming up for the spring equinox spirit. okay so it's time to just basically show up in a new way um you have the spiral here and it's a 50 so number five so this is all about that internal wisdom you know um it is about the wisdom that has been gained through learning through knowing through uh, the initiations that you've experienced through life and, and what it is that that really means to you and how it is that you can utilize that to uh, shed an old skin to really connect with a new part of yourself that you have yet to experience, right? Um, life is cyclical, you know? So if this is something that you have experienced before, 
you know, it, it gives us that invitation to be like, well, what is this? Why is this? How do I continue? How do, how does these patterns, how do these patterns continue to manifest in my life? What is it that I'm holding on to that, that brings this energy and how can I be new? How can I be renewed? How can I renew this aspect, this, this, this expression of my life? You know, and it's really about um, learning how to, you know, it's about accessing, yes, that wisdom, but sometimes wisdom is gained by learning, it's gained by going, by being in the present moment of it, you know, and really aligning and initiating um, a new frequency, a new pathway, especially on the emotional side of this. Because the spiral is very feminine energy. So here you have the sisterhood of the rose, beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic teacher. So perhaps this is you. This is coming out under the six of wands and ace of pentacles. Um, and it has been the connection through um, maybe some kind of, uh, maybe this has to do with women for you, you know, and how it is that that your world responds to that, um, what it is that that continues to manifest for you, through you, um, and possibly speaking of if in regards your individualistic nature, needing things to go your way, right, can be getting in the way of real connection, true connection on by some means, um, or just be getting in the way of being able to really continue to build that stability it is that you desire. Perhaps you need women in your corner who can help support you in this. Um, or perhaps you are just that. You are that priestess, that mystic and that teacher um, who really, I don't want to say, well, yeah, has the answers to your own problems. Perhaps they lie within you, you know. So what else, spirit? What else would you like, Gemini, to know? Break the chain. Two of swords and five of cups. So it's time to end old ancestral patterns. Let the healing take place and rewrite your future. It's time to... So basically, this is speaking of, it's time to change the present moment, right? Because it is now that we are creating the future. And whatever is continued to play itself out now will continue to play itself out in the future if we so choose to continue to allow it, right? So again, this is about showing up differently. Maybe you need to be the bigger person in a situation that you did not want to be. Uh, you know, with this uh, two of swords here, um, it's kind of like you have blindfolded yourself to what is going on and it kind of need to take the the high road and take the blindfold off so that you can see all parts of the picture so that you can really show up in the best way it is that you need to show up. Um, it's, it's a lot about growing up, emotionally maturing, really. And um, because in this five of cups, two, two cups are broken. So it's almost kind of like being careless with um, one, what is being offered to you and two, uh, the changes it is that needs to really occur in this matter, whatever that matter may be for you, right? And at the bottom here, we also have um, fill up your well, rest, refuel, retreat, okay? So maybe you need to take some time to be alone so that you can really cultivate this self-mastery, do that, get in, do that root work, Um be be that that individual that it is that you know yourself to be and basically just um embrace that in a way that is going to allow everything to continue to grow right continue to nurture things in the way in which it is that you've been nurturing them don't don't give up on the matter it seems what else is your spirit? I'm going to pull a crystal card. See what crystal consciousness it is that will just serve you during this 
uh, spring energy, Gemini. What is here for you? What is here? Crystal for Gemini spirit. Oh, you got the sunstone. All right, this fits. It really fits because the sunstone, it, it correlates to the sacral chakra and the solar plexus. So this is about activating your will, but also your sense of self-expression, your emotions, because the sacral chakra is a water element. Um, and the solar plexus is a fire element. Okay, so this is definitely speaking about um, getting back into that feel good energy. Like you create, to me, this is saying that you create the energy within the environment. So it's important for you to be that so that it can manifest and, and, and multiply outside of you you know, continue to create the good vibes. The sunstone says what it is, the sunstone emanates feel-good vibes of warmth and radiance. The sunstone's orange and red sparkling light effect, aka spangling, aka adventurescence, is the result of copper inclusions reflecting light from within. Who needs it? Fellows looking to operate on a higher plane, the vitamin D deprived, all solar powered human beings who do not in fact harvest life force by turning up the brightness on their smartphone phones, where to put it, anywhere you're looking for a boost in stamina, first thought, the gym, sure bro. Um, so when to use it, whenever it's time to get busy or when your disposition needs a little sunning up. Yeah, so it says take back your shine. So whatever is this, situation is bringing for you in the second half of spring it's really important for you to not let it drain you to not allow it to um take your luster away right the winds you got the wind at the bottom here on um on these oracle cards so that is swift changes that needs to come in. That's Oya energy, if you're familiar with uh, the Orisha tradition. Um, it's all about really letting things go that need to be let go of for success. Oya rules the marketplace, right? So this is about cultivation. It is about stability. It is about, um, it's even about material-based things, money, finances, okay, and really letting the storm come through and clear whatever it is that is no longer serving you uh, in, in the slightest. What else is here? Mermaid spirits, sea spirits. What do you have for Gemini? <laughs> yeah, all right, so we have the Asray. And the Asray says, without a rich heart, treasure is less likely to be discovered, right? So she is a number 20. So this is about going within that, that heart-based energy. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with you, Gemini, throughout the rest of this spring, but it's very important that you focus on that heart chakra energy, focus on your sacral chakra, as well as um that solar plexus, all three of those chakras may need some attention from you right now so that you can really cultivate the, cultivate a, a, a very fundamental part of yourself that is needed in order for you to feel like you do not have to um, stay dim or anything of that nature, right? The Asray talks about discovery. And it says the Asray 
is an elemental spirit that lives in secret places next to hidden treasure. Forecast that you possess magic, which can create further treasure indefinitely. You will find this hidden talent in your dreams, pearls of wisdom, financial wealth, and valuable presents will flow your way. A gift of jewelry, an object, new clothes, or certificate of accomplishment may be bestowed upon you. Like the Asray, you are endowed with the ability to stir up and change the order of things, bringing happiness to everyone, even the wretched. And since the Asray can fall in love with a mortal, it would appear that so too will you with a friend or someone most unexpected. Right. So perhaps this person that you need to make a truce with, uh, it may end up being a very a loving connection in some aspect, but it's first going to take for you to really tap into your, your heart space, your nature, um, and really figure out what is the best course of action in this situation. How do you bring solace and peace through you because you were the one with the ability to change everything that is going on for you at this time but you have to recognize it <clears throat> excuse me you have to recognize it you have to be open and willing to kind of do what it is that needs to be done um and make the sacrifices it is that need to be made surrender to whatever um situation that is at hand at this time to really allow you to What's the word? Every time this word is always stuck here and it disappears. I don't want not win, but just really be able to um, come out on top of the, the issue at hand, the situation at hand. Yeah, so courage. You got courage. You really have to have the courage to do what it is that needs to be done at this time, you know, and um, just don't run away from it, right? Because whatever it is that you're blindfolding yourself from may be bringing up an aspect of fear. Perhaps um, you just don't want to face what needs to be faced in a sense. And that may be very important for you to do at this time. Um, you can't let the monsters rule your world, right? And that way you can really get into a space of being able to be present in all aspects, no matter what the situation is. At the bottom here, you have communication. So that's gonna be really important in, in these matters that's coming up for you at this time. What else, Spirit, what else is here? Pull a love and relationship card for you for this spring energy. Spring commitment so yes you have to be committed to whatever it is that you've signed up for and it's going to take the courage it's going to take you going within to really figure out and see what it is that is needed to be done at this time that is necessary for you to really stand your ground and stand true into what it is that you signed up for and at the bottom you have surrender here so it's like a need to surrender to the entire situation so that things can really play out in your favor, right? Like you got to let go any type of limiting beliefs it is that you hold about you, your life, or anybody else. Um, it, it's almost, it feels like within your relationships, you have to be willing to show up as yourself without a need to hide, without a need to um, dissipate, without a need to feel like a victim, without the need to um, let it put a pause on your growth, right? Because this is going to keep you stagnant. And it's something that you were learning from. But with these cards coming up, this is happening. Regardless, it's almost like spirit is putting you in this situation and it's going to force you into um, a higher realm of yourself. You really are um, seeing life, things, people, humans from a higher perspective. And, um, and even seeing yourself from a higher perspective, see, see you in your greatness, see you in your God self, in your higher self, whatever it is that that means, that that looks like for you, you know, don't, um, don't question it. Just, it's, it's kind of like, 
surrender what needs to be done, do whatever it is that needs to happen at this time, because you are the one in this situation in your life that holds the power, that holds the key to be able to transform it in a way that's really going to allow things to start shifting in a different perspective in a, and on a whole different path that's going to change the future. Yeah, so that you can really enjoy reality, so that you can have the life it is that you want, that you desire, that you see fit for yourself, that you know you are willing to um, align to. This is savor. Yes, it's time for you to enjoy life. And that is what moving through all of this is going to bring you and everyone who's involved really allow you to be able to um, manifest reality life in a way that is with ease that is enjoyable that is shaded under the trees okay and allows you to really feel good about what is where your life is going where you are and where life is going um and what's happening at this time as well Okay, so I pulled a card from this Gypsy Oracle deck and we got the snake here. So the snake is a number 13. <laughs> this is about transformation, that shedding that skin again. Um, hmm. At the bottom, we have the rod, which speaks about family calls. So this definitely has to, this definitely involves other people. Whether you see them as family or they are your actual family, Right. And it's time for you to really tap into the wisdom it is that you hold within yourself, within your life. And really that is really going to support you in being able to. Um, you know, be seen differently, see yourself differently and really uh, support you in aligning to life in a way that is going to offer you success. Um, the eight of clubs is eight of wands for me. So this is about messages, again, communication, things being revealed to you that you were not once aware of, and it's going to take that inner work, right? It's going to see what kind of pattern it is that this, that this is coming from, whether this is from you or that this just simply exists within your family line and something that needs to be healed um, for the sake of everyone. Okay, and you may have to, you may even find yourself needing to step up into that role of being that space holder and support system for those who you are in relation to who may be experiencing any type of turbulent emotional um, problems, issues, situations, experiences at this time, you know, and really be that sounding board for them. So yes, what I'm getting here, Gemini, is that you have this very priest priestess energy, right? That you are here to really offer another person. So don't dim your light. Don't shut down. Don't not talk. Don't not express, you know, and help people around you do that work it is that they need to do for themselves as well so that they can transform their lives so they can shed that old skin and really come into something um, much more um, light, okay, so they can see the light in, in the situation, whatever it is that that may be, you know, this is definitely, and that may be the sacrifice, that you have to be that for somebody else in a time that you um, may not be feeling like that's what you want, you know, you might be on this high of life and have to deal with this, not deal with this, but be in it, you know? So, okay, Gemini, I hope that this is helpful for you. If so, let me know in the comments. I would love to read your comments and see what's going on and how this is supporting you. And yes, I will see you in the summertime, Gemini. Hi. Hey, Libra, my beautiful Libras, how are you? <laughs> Um, I hope that spring has been good to you so far. Um, 
So when I was sitting with Libra's energy, what came up was how much longer is this going to take? <laughs> That's what I got. It, it, almost like a sense of impatience, perhaps. Um, ready to get something done, get something going, or just wanting circumstances in the situation to be different than what it is at this moment, at this time. Um, kind of so that you can feel that consistent sense of ease and not have to, if you've been having any underlining worries. Um, and to me, that is very um, like devil card energy. I need to find that harmony and balance it is that Libra is, right? And not allow those subconscious thoughts to really weigh on you and, um, continuing to allow them to come up and wreak havoc in your life havoc in your life so this is a lot about shadow work facing those shadows being with your shadows um acknowledging them and embracing them something is stuck on my hand it's something that you need to let go of um that you have yet to at this time perhaps you need to recognize it see it Perhaps that some shadow work may be beneficial for you throughout this spring energy. Um, maybe it's just an old belief, a habit, you know, a thought, some patterns. I'm not sure. You know, though. So if that's the case, share with me. Let me know what's going on. So we are going to focus on spring first half and second half if you watched my earth sign and fire sign videos these will be a little bit different because we're already almost out of the first half of spring so yes <clears throat> yes so also on my website now i am offering conjure boxes so that you can manifest within your reality or just something to support you in moving beyond those places where you were stuck where you need spirit to really intercede for you and show up and be like hey do it like this and show you and also reveal to you like okay this is where you're in your own way kind of thing so if that's something you're interested in i definitely encourage you to uh take advantage of that we are going to be doing our second um live new moon ritual for taurus um this taurus new moon coming up in may so you have time to get things ready and aligned and orchestrated in a way that will support you in being able to show up um if that is what you are feeling called to do no pressure by all means do you okay so um what else is there i meant to say this during the gemini reading and it just completely slipped my mind i was just really excited to get back in and sharing these videos with you guys and it's like i promised i like to keep my promises all right <laughs> so Great Spirit, thank you for this time, this space, and this place. Thank you for your continuing guidance, your grace, your love. I ask that you come through and offer counsel to Libra for this spring season, the last remaining of the first half and the second half of spring spirit. What would you like for them to know at this time? What insights? What guidance, what clarity, what would you like to be revealed to them that they may not see at this time in this moment that will support them in having a very successful spring season, no matter what the case is for them at this time? Interesting that, um, what's that song, Turn Off the Lights with Kanye and Rihanna that came up while I was shuffling. Um, and the first card that came out here is the Queen of Wands and she's all about shining her light. She's all about um, being inspired to manifest, to create, 
um, perhaps you could be in some aspects not believing in yourself in the way in which is necessary for you to succeed and um, attain what it is that you want in a very easy way, in a very, let's say, a passive way, um, and really allowing you to uh, see the full sp scope or spectrum of things. But at the same time, it feels like this is for the first half of spring that things have been going really well for some of you that you have really been able to um, manifest the reality is that you have been desiring for some time that you have been putting a lot of energy, a lot of work into as well, you know, and really um, kind of sense coming out on top, you know, maybe you've been able to do this without any thought, without much action, just really being in this space of, of flowing, going with the wind how Libra does, you know, and really acknowledging the ebbs and flows as they come and letting go of whatever it is that does not hold you or hold you in the standards in which you would like to be in. What else, Spirit? Yeah, so we have your card here. We have justice. So yeah, you. it feels like you've really been on that side of um, attaining your wings, feeling just in what it is that you've been receiving, what, how it is that your life has been going throughout this first half of spring and really embracing that, recognizing how it, perhaps you have had a shift in action it was that you have been taking or a shift in perspective more so than anything and it is uh making things a little bit easier for you it's making um you feel justified in your means what it is that you've been applying and putting into uh what it is that you've been desiring for fruition also been really focused on balance within yourself, within your life, um, having this sense of harmony and um, really just focus on being at peace with where it is that you are and what it is that you have going on. And it seems, it feels like that that is here. You walk through a new doorway of really being able to tap within that um, magical essence within you because the, the queen of wands, she's like the conjurer she has a, a wand in her hand flick of the wrist ready at any by any means okay um to make do whatever it is that she needs to make do for her life now some of you okay may be needing to take the time or to learn to see the other side of the coin right and if things have not been going that way for you you may have been being blocked by your perception um Perhaps you have been in the space of feeling victimized in a sense, um, especially with this justice card, you feeling like you're owed something. Um, and that can be stopping you from being able to receive what it is that is meant for you, right? Because <clears throat> what it is sometimes that we believe that we're owed uh, may not really be what belongs to us. And it is important that we realize and recognize those things so let's see what's going down for you on this second half of spring sorry that i'm not looking at the camera i'm just gazing i guess letting the messages come through what else is here so knight of swords in the second half of spring you got the knight of swords so this is about being focused on the truth action quick action moving you know, um, not accepting anything less than and moving forward in, in taking the directions it is and the choices and the decisions it is that needs to be made in order to be aligned with what is real for you, what is true for you, what is honest for you, you know, what it is that um, is going to align you to the path it is that you need to be on that is going to make sense for you, to you. You guys hear my son in the background it's watching some gamers play condo combo panda <laughs> okay so let's see what else is here for labor spirit 
Yeah, because you only focus on the truth. You only focus on the truth. You don't, you, everything else does not matter, right? This is the seer and the seer speaks about being able to see how everything fits together. Everything coming together to make sense. It's clear, all right? It, it, there is no longer, you are no longer questioning your, your, your sight, what it is that you know, what it is that you believe, what it is that you want to align to. This is, you were, no, you were now seeing the forest for the trees. You're not stuck on one aspect of anything anymore. Um, you are basically seeing what everything was for up until this point. The truth has come to light fully, fully, okay? And you, it's like, it's, it's just coming very easy. It's the, where it is that you kind of set yourself up in this first half of spring is really allowing that to usher in. You are seeing the benefit of that. Not granted, some of you maybe just not seeing it clearly at all, but I don't feel that. Not for majority, you know, and just having more trust and more faith in yourself, yes, but also in the universe, in, in divine orchestration, how it's being carried out on your behalf and what that has meant for you up until this point, what it is that that has actually done for you, what it is that that has actually provided to you as well at this time, okay, and bring you a lot of stability and a lot of balance and where it is that you're going forward with. Um, so if you are because at the beginning, the message I got, if you have been being patient, it's definitely going to pay off. I know in the mind, you can still be like, okay, I'm ready for this to happen, right? But the timing of things is are important because it is when we are aligned to what it is that is actually needed, that's when the divine reveals itself, right? So the divine, divine timing, people think like, oh, divine timing, we both play roles, play parts, spirit in us. It is a, um, it's a collaboration, all right? You're not doing this by yourself and they're not doing this by, by themselves, right? If, if you're not showing up on your behalf, they like what well, I don't you don't need me right because you're not taking any action to what it is that needs to be done in order for things to transpire right and there are things that you cannot do without spirit majority of living really if we're just going to be honest the soul is it is like when we align to what is necessary what is needed the divine shows up and be like, hey, I've been waiting for you, you know? So let's see what else is here. Spirit. Now, somebody else might see it differently, all right? Somebody else might see it like, hey, the divine gives it to us when we're ready, when, when they feel like we're ready. But that's because we did what we needed to do. So it's a collaboration. Divine orchestration is a collaboration, all right? So... Let's see. What else here? Queen of Cups. So we have the Queen of Cups here. Perhaps this is someone in your world, um, a feminine or more passive energy showing up who is very nurturing, very comforting, who can hold space for you. Um, perhaps this is you getting very in touch with your intuition and seeing how following your intuition has guided you up until this point aligning with that spark within that voice within that's really been um supporting you really getting into the depths of the thing getting into the depths of who it is that you are um and what life has meant for you up until this point and really allowing to you to see the deeper aspects of of things of a thing of everything honestly you know um and this can also speak to you having taken the time to nurture and nourish yourself and fill your cup before offering that to anybody else, right? So that, and perhaps all of these things that have been happening has showed you the, the need for this so that you can always be at your best, so that you can always be aligned to the path it is that you're on and what it is that you're doing, what it is that you believe and how it is that you feel about all of these things. Let's see. 
Okay. Okay, so you came out again, Libra. Two cards for the top. So the first card that came out is the Three of Swords. So this is definitely speaking about any disappointments, any type of um, in, in, any type of loss it is that you have experienced or had in the heart space. Perhaps you've had some awakening. That's what it truly feels like. You awaken to some reality. Um, that you needed to see differently, see clear in a way that was going to support you in being able to align with the wisdom it is that you have within, that you hold within, because this is the queen of swords. That is your energy. Um, it, but it could be Gemini, Aquarius as well, but needing to know the truth, align to the truth, be very, um, not necessarily cutthroat, but matter of factly, and not having anything else in your path that is going to deter you from being aligned to that, the truth that brings benevolence in your life, into your world, that brings healing into your world, you know, especially of the mind and of the heart as well, because when we align our, our minds with our heart, which they are never not aligned, we can always see just simply where it is our emotions, our feelings are based on the mental thought patterns it is that we continue to to carry out, right? So um, it, it's just been a lot of coming to the truth for you this spring, recognizing the truth, seeing yourself for who it is that you truly are, um, seeing the abundance it is that you hold within yourself on a very, you know, it's not a visceral thing. It's, it's depth. It is, um, it's more than just the obvious for you, uh, the season labor. <laughs> and then you got the high priestess at the bottom. Yeah, you've definitely been doing a, some soul searching. Definitely been connecting to um, your inner guide, your inner guru. Right, and really focusing on the truth, focusing on the cycles it is that it seems like that you've been in in your life for some time, perhaps, and moving moving yourself up out of that that um that type of confusion that doesn't uh extend a sense of clarity, a sense of peace. You know, you leaders love to keep the peace even if that means saying absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh. no. Spirit, what, what else do you have here for Libra? For Libra, what else is here? Lightning, okay. So this lightning speaks of the hand of God basically coming down and supporting you in a way that is um, allowing you to uh, change your reality. Right, this is like a divine revelation, a divine spark of inspiration, understanding. Um, what number is this? This is a 30, right? It's uh, basically creating something new. The book opened right up to this, wow. Okay, so it says, the forces of the upper world are investing their gathered energies to ignite you with new inspiration and creativity. Allow this divine gift to awaken the gift of awakening to take root in your being and enjoy a renewed sense of clarity and passion and vision. The medicine here says life has gifted you with a destiny that's in alignment with your passions and in harmony with all existence on earth. Now lightning has come to jolt you into accepting your destiny. Let this initiation release what is in the way of fulfilling your life purpose. Otherwise, you'll be bound to your karmic fate. This is a time to be courageous and daring. Yes, Libra, so you have definitely are coming out on the other side of whatever it is that you've been experiencing up until this point. It, it feels like life has kind of catapulted you into uh, something new. You're really um, aligning to your destiny, alignment of your life, you know, and what it is that is meant for you, what it is that uh, you desire 
you've been wanting is, is beginning to come to fruition. It's kind of like you've been going back and forth trying to see things clearly. Is it this? Am I seeing the right thing? It's a car in front of me. They have circled around, pulled up, backed up, pulled up, backed up again. It's like trying to see things, uh, what they're actually, what it is that you're actually looking at here, what it is that you're actually experiencing now at this time, in this moment, okay? What else is here, spirit? Yeah, so under in the first half of spring, you got the age of light. So this this newness, this this being able to manifest this balance, this harmony, this sense of justice, this sense of uh, receiving what it is that receiving back the energy it is that you've been putting out, that you've been orchestrating with the divine. Okay, you may have been seeing that this comes very natural to you. You don't have to do much. Perhaps you didn't lighten some candles in assistance, connect with spirit. Either way, you have been training for this for lifetimes. This is you, what, what has been occurring for you has come from past life situations, familial situations, and everything it is that you've experienced from then until now has been preparing you for this, to get you in this space of being the seer that you are and really recognizing the power it is that you hold within yourself, okay? For the second half, wow. Okay, for the second half of spring, you got unbound. Okay, so you are coming out of that. Okay, that's what that is that I was picking up before. You're coming out of that shadow phase, coming out of what weighs you down, coming out of those subconscious thoughts, those fears, those um, power struggles that have been uh, keeping you at bay from what it is that belongs to you. Okay, Libra, so the second half of spring here, you got Unbound, and it speaks about releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. So this second half of spring, you are really moving into a new state of being, honestly, um, releasing everything that has just been um, weighing you down, that has been keeping you from really being able to uh excel or fly however you want to see it um in the way in which it is that you have wanted to you know so that devil energy is is gone it's leaving this spring you are no longer in a space of um feeling like you have to do too much extend too much energy um that anything is against you that the universe or god is against you okay because you see the truth and it's already here it's already starting trust your path so you may be doing something different maybe happening for you um come this uh this spring your your path might be shifting in a bit not necessarily in what it is that you're doing, but the way in which it is that you've been going about doing it, All right? So you may not, it, so this is basically, um, it's like your demeanor is shifting based on seeing things differently, right? How you show up, how you connect, how you respond, how you love, how you receive love, how you give love, the boundaries it is that you hold. You know, even acceptance for others um, and seeing them from a different perspective as well. Seeing them in their truth, it feels like. What crystal consciousness is here for spring for Libra? Okay, so for you, Libra, we have the agate. So the agate speaks about, it says what it is, a agate uh, banded, uh, I can never say this word right, chalcedon, chalcedony, 
correct me if I'm wrong, comes in many forms. Elegant blue lace agate, agate, <laughs> agate, oh my God, and iridescent fire agate are two. Each ag agate has its own unique vibe, but they are they all promote an energy of wherever you are, be there. Who needs it? Work-life balance strugglers. Where to put it? Wherever you need more stability in your life. When to use it? When you want to get into your body, try fire agate. When too much screen time has you feeling disconnected from anything, the slightest bit of ego, try the far from aptly named moss agate, which neither contains moss nor is tech technically an agate, but can still hold it down. So it speaks about finding your solid ground. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, especially with this unbound card coming. You see how these people are are being harnessed and but they're being draw dragged down by this rope into darkness. All right. So it's basically you getting very grounded within yourself. Yeah, and at the bottom, you have Smoky Quartz, Arm Your Spiritual Warrior. You also have uh, the Holy Mountain here. And that speaks about, it, it seems like you've been on your pilgrimage at this time in, in wherever it is that you are right now. And it's really been supporting you and expanding and growing and getting more into your own, you know, in being more true to who it is that you yourself you came up in this reading so many times so it's definitely um even what is this lightning that's a 30 that's the empress card three and empress is taurus and libra energy ruled by venus so really creating a new reality for yourself um finding stability finding a solid ground you are, you finally get it. <laughs> and that's a wonderful feeling to be like, oh, I, I understand. Like, this is what I'm meant to do. This is who I am. Can nobody tell me different? Okay. And just all those beautiful things. Wow. It feels very, I feel very jovial. Yeah. Okay. So definitely some new skin happening here because you got the mer baby. Namara Baby says, the still of being in harmony increases your effectiveness. So the Mara Baby is all about being um, aware, being aware of your surroundings, who it is that you're interacting with, because you're at this very vulnerable state, right? When we, it's like shedding a skin, shedding its snake, a skin, a snake, shedding its skin. All right. <laughs> and really just, um, it is tender. You know, it's fresh, it's new, uh, it's easily triggered, it's easily hurt, right? So it's easily wounded. And so definitely taking the time to recognize um, who, was, who was real with you and who was not, who was there for you and who was not, who was misleading you and who was not, you know, who's being honest with you, who's leading true to you in your life. Um, and even the acquaintances you make, any type of business deals that you come into recognizing these things for what it is that they truly are so that you can make the proper decisions it is that you need to make at this time. Um, whenever that time comes, the Mar Baby is also a number six, right? So number six is like that lover's card energy, making decisions. But this is also about being in your sense of wholeness, your space of wholeness. It's like parts of yourself that have kind of been gone for some time are now returning to you. Okay, I forgot to pull that card. Gemini, I guess they didn't need it. <laughs> Let's see, what else is your spirit? Affirmations for Libra. Our affirmation serves Libra at this time during spring. Follow your heart, yeah. It's clear you're on a new path, going somewhere a little bit different. Um, it says, I'm always rewarded when I follow my heart. I trust the, that the GPS and my heart knows all the best routes. When it seems like it's taking too long, 
to get to where I want. I know that's because some cool, weird stuff to see along the way. Yeah, so really have patience, trust the process, search the way, like this heart here on the skateboard, you know, and recognizing that um, if this is an invitation for you to get clear on what it is that you're not sure of, kind of putting all the pieces together so that you don't miss anything along the way, you know, and really, um, trusting the process right because at the bottom here you got trust your pain what else is here for libra spirit libra libra my lovely libras gonna have to cut this light on soon sun is going down libra spirit libra love and relationships for libra spring Okay, that's interesting. So for this, you have surrender. So I like to look at these cards for relationship and love for ourselves, but also the people who we're connected with. So it's time for you to surrender to whatever it is that needs to be done for you to continue to connect with everything. Perhaps you have been in a state of surrendering into doing the healing it is that has needed to take place in order for you to return back to that sense of wholeness. You know, in order for you to really be able to uh, tap into what it is that belongs to you, who it is that you are, it says, hear ye, hear ye. You are hereby being called to unclench your grip on any old thought patterns that are getting in your way. Surrender any ideas that make you feel like a victim of circumstance or which make your dream relationship seem like an impossibility. The mayor of invention has just arrived and has made the following decree. Limiting beliefs about yourself and your life are here, heretofore, forthwith, and officially and indubitably declared for the birds. Okay, so let it go, let it fly. If this has been about relationship, um, hmm, that's interesting. So this queen of swords with this three of swords energy that came up um, for one that speaks of healing. But for two, perhaps you have been single. Some of you say Libras have been single for some time and have been dealing with uh, disappointments in relationship. And um, it has been the need to kind of surrender to the idea that what you want, you deserve, and you can have that, right? And this is culminating something new, something different for you. It's putting you in this, this, this new and vulnerable space and state and is just offering you um, the space it is that you need to allow yourself to receive this love it is that you are desiring at this time in your life or perhaps you've always been desiring it. okay and Virgo fell out so perhaps your, your routines your um, everyday life uh, has been shifted around for you in some regard and perhaps even your health has um, either gotten better or had to have some attention um, and that has also given you that time and that space to really uh, see things a little bit differently get back into yourself get back reconnected to who it is that you are you know that very innocent space state of being get back to getting back to that space of purity within yourself within your world your life you know so um yes Libra getting getting things done getting life in order okay and letting things be in the space it is that they need to be in so that you can live that fruitful, joyous, fulfilled life it is that you want so that you can have what it is that you want, that you desire, you know, and that is to be for it to be stable, something that you don't mind committing to, something that meets your needs, your values, your sense of self-worth as well. Yeah, so you got the key here. So a lot of stability happening, some success is being the door to success has been open to you. Um, I hope that you walked through it and that you accepted the invitation. Um, this card can also speak of illness. Uh, so definitely something with the health that had came up or has been coming up um, during the spring season. 
Um, but this is also a skeleton key and skeleton keys open the doors to rooms that, um, you know, have hidden meanings behind them, uh, have a, a whole new world of discovery behind it. So you have definitely been given the key to move forward. And at the bottom here, you have the rose. So you may be receiving some type of invitation or some type of love offering from someone. Um, somebody may be looking at you, admiring you, offering their love to you. If you are already in a relationship, um, your love in relationship life may be blooming differently in a more bountiful way, right? That pulls you out of this space, whether you have been single or in a relationship of um, being concerned about things working out in the way in which it is that you desire them to, which you believe them to be able to work out in, right? So let's see, one last card for Libra Spirit. For Libra. All right, so you have the two of onks. So this is about life force being brought into you. You have the king of onks here as well. So um, a lot of confidence being renewed, a lot of joy and happiness being renewed. This is also about your root chakra um, and your solar plexus energy. So a lot about your confidence, a lot about your will, feeling more active in the world, feeling more inspired to be able to show up in the world out of simply feeling grounded, you know, and who it is that you are um, in receiving these life force energies that are really supporting you. Um, it speaks about creativity, confidence, and passion. It is the I amness, you know, you are really coming into who it is that you are, you know, with no regard. It lies at the base of the spine and the root or the foundation of the self, where we find our sense of security and place in the world. And coral speaks about symbol of modesty, wisdom, happiness, and immor what is this? Immorality. Immortality. Sorry. Yes, yeah, so you Libra, you're on a whole new path. All right, you you kind of back to where you started, but in a very wonderful way, in a way that is very um, grounded, secure, loving, sure, right? Full of creativity, full of happiness, full of fulfillment. Did I say stability, Libra? The spring has been popping off for you. Granted, there may have been some blocks, some obstacles, some things that come up that you did not expect, right? But they only came up to show you something greater, something wider, something fuller, something better, something to get you realigned with yourself and who it is that you are and really connecting to that joy within you. So Libra, I hope that this has been helpful. If so, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear and read your comments, see what's going on with you and how this has supported you at this time. So I'm sending you so much love and I'll see you in the summertime. Um, hey Aquarius, I hope that you all are doing well this evening or afternoon, morning, whenever you are watching this. Um, I am filming this on April 23rd of 2021. And yes, you all are the third and final uh, for this air sign energy. So when I was sitting with your energy, what I was getting is that <clears throat> in a sense that you want what you want, um, and you want it to be good, you know, maybe not in the sense of it being really um, extra, but it just needs to be what it is, right? What it is that you want. And also really desiring to have those genuine connections with those around you and in your life. Um, however, it is that they may be manifesting for you. Um, and just wanting, really feeling appreciative of what is around you, being able to have 
the necessary things it is that you need in order to feel supported in many ways. Um, and also kind of willing to go where it is that is needing to be gone, to be headed toward, I should say, in order for those things to really come together for you in the best way possible that really aligns you to, to path, to purpose, to life, really just wanting to enjoy life. And so we are going to, if, if you have watched the, um, if you've watched the previous spring videos, first of all, thank you for being patient. I know it took me some time to come and do this, but I had so many new things come up and I needed to get into a space where I would be able to be fully present in being here. And at the time I was not because I was trying to get many things together to kind of get them aligned and in flow. <clears throat> But they're there now. So um, yes, back to the program, <laughs> this program anyway. So um, yes, I also have Lizzie's Charm. We have a conjure box. Our store has been updated. We have two conjure boxes available, one for moving through obstacles and opening doors. This next one will be for the tourist full moon. It's called Legacy, so things that you wish to have longevity with and um, long-lasting results in your life, what it is that you want, what you see um, for your path, for your purpose. Okay, so yes, the Taurus New Moon Conjure Box is, you know, stability grounding. It's about wealth, health, uh, and being into the flow of the things it is that you're creating for your life, that you're building for your life, if, if that interests you, um, you can definitely go onto my website. There is a link in my bio below, and you can check that out for yourself and see how that resonates for you, how what that means for you and if that is for you, right? Because that kind of thing is not for everybody. And <clears throat> I think it's really important that we all recognize that it's not for everybody it don't have to be for everybody okay so Aquarius we're gonna go ahead and get into your cards very spirit thank you for this time space in this place thank you for the continued grace it is that you offer into our life into the Aquarius life I'm calling on you at this time, in this moment, for you to offer some guidance, some clarity, some counsel to Aquarius in whatever area or realm in the world your life that they need that at this time for this spring season, for the remainder of this spring season, Spirit. What would you like for them to know? What, what would you like for them to become aware of that they may not be right now? <clears throat> Please be clear and upfront in all of those true and in the face kind of energies that Aquarius love so much. They just like the realness and the truth spirit. So yes, I already know I don't have to tell you this, but thank you again. And thank you. I should. <laughs> okay, so let's see what's going on here. For you, Aquarius, in this first half of spring, this first half of spring is speaking of nourishment. We are almost at the end of the first half of spring. Mid-May, we will be out of the first half. And um, really before that, maybe like the, the second decade of Taurus or the first and second half decade of Taurus, we will be out of the first half of spring. Okay, so Aquarius, the first card that comes out for you is the Page of Cups. So Okay, so um, Page of Cups. So this is all about you tapping into that self-awareness, that intuition, that inner child energy. You may have been receiving a lot of messages of love as well, may have been connecting 
a lot emotionally, maybe spiritually, telepathically, um, maybe in your dreams with your children. If you have that, perhaps you are attempting to call in children at this time and they have been coming to you in your dreams, right? So this can also speak about uh, self-awareness, really getting aligned to who it is that is true to you and listening to those intuitive downloads it is that you are having and following those to support you and nourish you in moving forward into this growth stage that is coming up in the second half of spring, okay? And really just um, extending your cup to those who you want to give it to, but also receiving a cup from others who it is that you um, want to receive from. So this is also this giving love and receiving love and being very um, true to who it is that you are on your soul, on a soul level in those connections, in those relationships. It's very, it's a very new, innocent, it may have been a lot of new relationships. Maybe some soulmates have been coming up for you in your world and um, really bringing a lot of nourishment to you in your reality, okay? That is helping you um, move forward. You have the Six of Swords, which is, this is Mercury in Aquarius. So helping you see things from a higher perspective, a more vast grand perspective, really helping you tap into that God sense, right? And really connect to your own personal God source. This is also, um, this is change in mind that can be, it can be tumultuous if we allow it to, it doesn't have to be, right? So that's not necessarily the case, but there may have been some things that needed to let, you need to let go of when it comes to perspective and perceptions in relation to having relationships with people, connecting with people, Um possibly even if children have been on your mind, uh, to kind of uh, shift your mindset in regards to that and how it is you want to go about doing that, how it is that you want to go about attaining that. Perhaps you have been needing to be more detached in the mind when it comes to your connections and letting things just reveal themselves, letting things go with the flow versus trying to force anything or um, preconceive an idea before the idea has even been revealed or actualized. Also just bringing a lot of harmony and stability into the mind as well, based through the emotion. So your emotional nature has been shifted and this is also supporting you in being able to um, connect more with your mental state in a more peaceful way, right? A more, um, because in the traditional tarot, the six of swords, the person is with their child riding on a boat to a new location. Right, so it's over water. Very interesting. Your mind has shifted, is shifting based on these new emotions, connections, relationships it is that you have um, encountered in your world, in your life. Spirit, second half of spring for Aquarius. Have the Hierophant. So you've been learning a lot of new things. Um, perhaps you have been gaining some new teachers. Perhaps you have been just of recognizing and realizing the wisdom it is that you hold within your own self, right? And having a lot of, again, downloads and um, knowing and knowledge within your life that is starting to kind of make sense. Synchronicities are lining up and um, becoming factual for you. It's no longer a guessing game in a sense. Um, Perhaps you may have also uh, been very focused on your traditions, how, whatever that means for you, whatever that looks like, your commitments, right? And recognizing what changes it is that needs to happen in regards, in regards to that. How does that allow you to really um, grow, right? Where, where, where does this growth happen and how does it happen? And how do you go about continuing to do this in a way that um, resonates with who it is that you are through your own sense of value and worth, you know? What else is your spirit? So you got the eight of wands here. 
So even more so, while thing, many things have been coming to your awareness that you have not been aware of up until this point, this is uh, through this new sense of knowing, through this new sense of learning, through this... And this is also bringing new messages to you from whether that is in the ethers, whether that is through other people, but it's facilitating much growth for you, much expansion in your awareness of things and what it is that you know to be true, especially when it comes to, to your connection to spirit um, and what that means for you, what that looks like for you, uh, where it is that you are going with that, right? Because this Six of Swords energy is walking into the Hierophant. Right. So this change of mind is really is what is catapulting you tapping into your own sense of source of wisdom, your own guru, I guess we can go ahead and call it and bringing to light a lot of things, bringing a lot of things to surface. It is that is needed in order for you to have that sense of trust and that sense of faith in in all things in life in general. And also in your um, your connections with others too, that has a lot to do with this as well. Spirit, what else is here? So we have the chariot. So a lot of heart-based movement, a lot of heart-based action being taken here. You may be connecting with women or someone of a cancerian nature, Taurus cancer nature. Um, and being very inspired by that. And that is kind of, in a sense, activating your will. You may just be tapping into your own sense of, of self, your, your soul being, you know, the, the influence it is that you hold and that um, beginning to either ring true for you or make sense for you. Either way, it's taking you to another place very quickly. Things are moving very quickly for you, Aquarius, through this shift in mindset, through this alignment to who it is that you truly are. Um, kind of like that unchangeable, innocent nature within your being. What else is here, Spirit? Aw, you got the Ten of Cups here, and this is really bringing fulfillment within your relationships, harmony, and balance with your own emotional nature. This is also, um, you are having a lot of soulmates you're coming in contact with at this time um, that are making you feel justified and sure in who it is that you are. Um, people that you just feel comfortable and cozy around, you know, feel even nurtured by them as well. And perhaps you may have also um, been very focused on family connections and building a really stable, um, fulfilling and loving connection with them as well. Or maybe people who feel like family, right? Because you got this three of swords here with this 10 of cups and it's helping you heal from heartbreak, from any type of loss it is that you have, uh, that has occurred in your life over time. It kind of helped you make sense of any type of awakenings it is that you've had up until this point to make things make sense for you. Again, it's a lot of things making sense, right? And I know a lot of people be like, oh, you don't have to, things don't always have to make sense. And granted, everything does not make sense. But a lot of the times when we get to that precipice, things begin to make sense, you know, because we are then able to see all the parts together. And through that, what it is that you've been wanting in your life, the, you got the three of wands here at the bottom, the ships for that is coming in, what, the action it is that you've been placing in your life, the effort, the connection, the, um, getting very sure of yourself and ground. Okay, Aquarius, we are gonna pull a couple of more cards. Let's see what else is here. So Aquarius, what else would you like Aquarius to know for the spring season? You may feel like you are 
moving into new heights as well. What is this? <laughs> yeah. So you got the journey here. So this is this card speaks about um it speaks about the path, your path, and not needing it to continue to stay one thing at one time, being open to change, being open to um what is new, what is being presented to you, and going with that flow of things and not feeling like you need to control anything as the only thing that's permanent is impermanence. Right, and this is a number 11. So this is definitely about walking through a new door, a new portal of your life and um, really embracing what it is that is being given to you, shown to you and offered to you at this time and really being open to taking whatever opportunities it is that is, is being presented to you. But also, um, just trusting the process as well, trusting, kind of in a sense, trusting the path. <clears throat> what else is this with Aquarius? And knowing that the wisdom will come as you go along the way, but you also hold much wisdom in you already. And it's important that you tap into that and let that be your guide as you continue to embrace these new experiences that you have um, that's being presented to you. Interesting. Okay, so uh, with the first half of spring, you got the Sisterhood of the Rose. So it speaks about beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic teacher. So perhaps you have, um, perhaps this is you, right? You are this mystic teacher. You've been very focused on being devoted to your self development. Um, or perhaps you have been connecting with those who um, are this, right? And really support you in connecting with the wholeness of who it is that you are because I like to see the sisterhood of a rose of the rose as like a group of friends a group of women right um if perhaps if you are a male watching this you have been connecting with a woman who is has been supportive of you in your growth who has helped you see things from a different perspective a more heightened perspective um a much more open perspective as well and perhaps you have just been indulging and in endeavoring in connection with spirit on a much more frequent frequent level than you have before um and really being devoted to it and possibly also being very focused on the beauty it is that exists in your world the beauty it is that you're trying to create in your world as well and um okay sorry that light was looking weird um so yes and really just becoming your own teacher in a sense, it feels like, especially with this change of emotion and it elevating your mind, you know, this, this new sense of empathy it is that you may have been cultivating. Wow. Yeah, so under the second half, you have birthing a new age. It says birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. And with this hierophant, learning this information and this eight, eight of wands, um, seeing things from a different perspective, seeing things in a greater way, it's opening a new reality to you with this journey card that is walking through a new door, right? Uh, shifting fronts, basically, into where it is that you have been up until all this time and making it something completely different. It's gonna be better, honestly, than wherever it is that you've been because um with that whole three of swords energy coming up yeah you're definitely involved with uh, people there's other people involved here but also being very connected to your intuition because even here we have the great gathering and it speaks it speaks about it's all coming together intuitive hits soul tribe you're really connecting with people who you resonate with on a very deep soul level um supporting you in making things, again, make sense in the world, letting, you know, having all things join as one, in a sense, seeing the oneness that exists within the world between others. 
what crystal consciousness is here for Aquarius and this spring season spirit. Oh, so you got two crystals here, Aquarius. Hmm. Okay, so the first one you have here is Shungite. And Shungite basically says what it is. Shungite is a cool like mineral. It's carbon molecules called floralness or buckyballs from the shape of a tiny geodesic domes. It's electroconductive and it's only found in Kareli, Russia, where local sap spas have taken advantage of the minerals purifying powers for centuries. Who needs it? Anybody looking to get honest with themselves, where to put it? In your water bottle to create Shanghai infused drinking water. Meditating with Shanghai can get the good vibes flowing through you like electricity through a neon sign that reads, yes. And then it says when to use it, when it's time to reclaim your energy from wherever it has been and whomever it's been with. And it says to get real with your truth. Be honest. <clears throat> so the second be honest with yourself about yourself right so labradite here um labradite it says it is a failed spar mineral felt discovered first discovered in canada's frozen north the stones seem to hold the light of oral aurora borealis and just beneath the surface, this slightly psychedelic iridescent dance is known quite appropriately as the labradorescence. Who needs it? Adventures exploring far off lands, places, alchem alchemical, spiritual, artistic, and dreamy. Any Pisces. Where to put it? Wherever you cast your spells. When to use it? When you've lost your faith in magic. The world is a weird, wonderful, whimsical, watery wa rock hurtling through space, and you're on it, and that makes you special. Gaze into the labradite and delight in that. It says protect your magic. So what is true for you? What is real for you? What is magic for you, Aquarius? You know, it's, it's different for all of us, most definitely. So let's see. What do the mermaid spirits have for you? What messages do my rays have for Aquarius at this time, Spirit? What do you see beauties for? What, what would y'all like, like for Aquarius to know at this time during the spring season? Aquarius. Okay. So this is about standing in your own personal authority knowing who it is that you are, building a structure around that, right? Because we have the merman. Can you see that? Okay. It says the longings of your heart can become actual realities. Let me read this. Please don't pull this card off. <clears throat> so the merman speaks to elation. These lights, man. Okay, it says the merman, a beneficiary, amiable, jolly creature, predicts fun and friendship for you. Your social circle is exp expanding, bringing big opportunities. When roused to anger, the merman raises storms, so be assured. A blow of fate has a sacred blessing about it. A love relationship will su survive scrutiny, bringing a happier face that is harmonious and beneficial to you both. You may meet someone significant while investigating new creative ideas in your career or leisure interests. You may become close friends with someone who lives near and choose to see less of someone who lives at a distance or in a foreign land. Something pleasing is about to lift your spirits and make you feel lighthearted. And so the connections it is that you're making, whoever you're close to you, um, these soulmate connections, they are, are very much so becoming a very present uh, a consistent fixture in your life um, and this may change some of the relationships it is that you already hold um, and not necessarily in a negative way just because your attention is being focused somewhere else lots of friendship here and um, social social means you're definitely connecting with a lot of people right now Aquarius 
so in that, just, you know, be who you are. Because these people, whoever they are, they accept you because you accept yourself. <laughs> okay. So a love and relationship card for Aquarius for the spring. For Aquarius for the spring. Open heartedness. So definitely be of open heart when it comes to connecting with others, but also for yourself and um, what it is that is present in the moment. You also got warmth here. So just needing to um, let warmth and love uh, rule your interactions. Open heart and it says, I know that life and the people living in it can be an absolute bummer sometimes, but I promise not to let unhappy chapters make me jaded. If I left, let negative experiences turn me sour, then the jerks win. So I'll move on with an open and hopeful heart, if only because I, I hate losing to jerks. <laughs> so definitely being open to basically don't let things jade you. Don't let your experiences change who it is that you are. Where the past experiences, the disappointments it is that you've had with any type of relationships, any type of uh, connections it is that you may have held up until this point. Um, be open to truly getting to know a person versus um, assuming. As you know what they say about people who assume. <laughs> You don't know they say that they make asses of themselves all right because they just don't be sure right you could just be listening to your intuition and you might be right so it, it is up to you to decide whether or not what that is for you all right so let's see what else here manifestation things are coming into fruition for you coming to life becoming real your world is being made whole <laughs> okay on all fronts it says if you could have anything you wanted what would it be get specific and get greedy you're holding a magic wand and you can conjure up anything could it be that when you declare your wishes out loud you're actually casting a spell for your dreams to come true or is it that in a very practical sense, the more people you speak with about your desires, the more folks there are who know what you want might have the means to help you make them happen. Either way, stop waiting and start manifesting. But don't use that word if you don't want to. Yeah, some people don't like the word manifesting and that's okay, but um, things are becoming clear for you in a way that is supporting you of being able to make the impossible possible right and really tapping into your magic that's the second time that energy came out um really connecting with what that means for you what that looks like for you in whichever way it may be what else is your spirit for aquarius Oh, like Gemini, you got savor. So this is so in the summertime, things may be expanding. Things may be growing. Um, things may be coming to full life. These connections that you have in your life may be taking on a new sense of, um, a new sense of placement, I guess we could say, in your life. Uh, bringing something forward to you that possibly may not have been expected that allows you to really enjoy life and where it is that you are. Really be in the shade be in the trees, very feeling very abundant and full, um, but also feeling at ease, feeling warm, like you are full of warmth and have warmth surrounding you. Whatever it is that you're doing, have going on, it is important that you uh, definitely answer the call and um, start acting on whatever it is that is it is coming in for you. Whatever it is that you've been putting effort to, whatever it is that you've been building, it's time to make that a very real thing for yourself. Putting in the work, right? Because you have help here, okay? And riches, Aquarius, all right? Through relationships, through connection. Right, because here you have hand in hand. And hand in hand basically speaks about um, having people there who support you wholeheartedly with no agenda. There's no, whoever you are connecting with right now, 
you can trust these people. They are here to help you thrive, here to help support you, um, you know, and really get you in the space of, um, of, of love, of feeling recognized in a sense, um, feeling seen, feeling heard. Everybody seems to have a very good connection and be on the same page in a sense as well, um, helping you get to your destiny. It's funny because you have lightning here, which was a card that Libra had got as their oracle card. And lightning speaks about you being on this path to destiny, on this road, you know, um, that things have changed. Things are different for you now. And it's really important for you to embrace that wholeheartedly because this is a gift that has been offered to you by the divine. <clears throat> And one last card for Aquarius spirit. What else would you like Aquarius to take with them as they journey through this spring energy here? Aquarius. Okay. Mm. All right. So we have the Queen of Feathers. So this is about order, balance. Um, this can easily be your energy. Feathers is air energy, right? And this is um, about north, the direction north. Uh, let me see. It's about the earth as well. So being grounded, birth again, birthing something new, um, something new coming into fruition. It's about sound and cognizance. So it's about your understanding, your knowing, the sense of just knowing shit kind of thing. Permanence and stability. It represents solid matter. Solid matter in the structure of the universe, the crystallization of spirit into form. Sink into the earth, anoint your body temple with the purest of essential oils, sacred flowers, and medicinal herbs. Use small bowls to absorb of salt to absorb negative energy. Uh, so this is being very connected to spirit. It's, it's crystallizing into human form. And it feels like that this is happening through the relationships it is that you are building. Um, but also what it is that you're learning through these relationships, like kind of tapping into this universal understanding of things and that supporting you in making sense of life in general, not necessarily just your life, but um, being able to see others in, in, in their progression, their way of doing things, going about things in a high, from a higher perspective. Right, because at the bottom here, you also have the king of lotuses, which is in this deck, the sacred woman. Um, it's also the high priestess and the sacred woman. She is the she's a teacher. She's a guy. She's the divine queen mother. Right. So uh, you really uh, connecting to this high vibrational expression of uh, spirituality, being very being a channel really listening to your inner voice and connecting to the mysteries and your higher power, but also your higher self. Um, and this, she's also considered a guardian who's walking with you through initiations of sacred passages. So your spirit team is here for you, Aquarius. You are learning some really great grand things that are supporting you in your growth and your spirituality and, um, your connection with others as well and really just aligning you to that divinity that exists within you without any um, hesitation, without any, without it being unwavering, untrusting, like you are coming to this place of really trusting in yourself. Okay, Aquarius. So my loves, I hope that this has been helpful for you. I hope that you find um, some something good in this. If so, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know how this is relating for you, how it is that this is um, speaking to you in your life. And yes, I hope that you have a wonderful spring and 
that the balloon begets you all right so i'm sending you guys so much love and i hope that you have a wonderful process as you move through this new journey and i'll see y'all you guys in the summertime Bye.